All right, this um, video is a little demonstration of the NIM game. The game has um, three features that I like. It has a save feature where you can save the state of your game, and it remembers uh, how many piles of stones you, there are, how many stones are in each pile, and which player's turn it was when the game uh, was paused or saved. And it has a resume feature where you can load um, a previously saved game into the uh, computer and resume where you left off. So uh, one more thing it has is uh, a feature where it actually guards against users putting in inappropriate uh, responses. For example, if there are only three piles, you can't choose pile four or pile five. Or if pile one has 10 stones in it, you can't decide you want to take 15 or 20 stones out of the uh, pile. So let's go ahead and get started with the uh, game. I'm going to use a make file um, to help me uh, generate my executable. Alright, I'm executable. Alright, so we'll do. And I'll try three piles and I'll have seven in one, three in one, five in the other. Okay, I'm going to play against the um, artificial intelligence player that is easy to beat. Okay, and I'll go first. And I don't want to save. Let's see. I'll go with pile one. One. With one stone. At this point, I want to go ahead and save the game. So um, at this state, um, I have five stones in pile one. Uh, three stones in pile two and one stone in pile three and it is my turn right now so uh, they're asking me do I want to save and so I'll go ahead and save the game alright so we should be able uh, to resume uh, this state of the game where it's my turn uh, when we come back, uh, I'll pull this file up later when I load it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this game on out. Uh, let's try to put in 10 stones from pile 1 and we'll see if we get an error. It tells us exactly um, how many stones we're allowed to pull from pile 1. So let's go ahead and pull 3. All right. And I actually lost this game. <laughs> so the artificial intelligence player beat me. Okay, let's, let's go pull that previously saved game up. Um, move it to the file path. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to do a new one. And oh, didn't want to do that. Okay. All right. It says the file was successful. It's asking me for a name. And here we are. We pulled up that same state three, uh, five, three, and one on the piles. And that's what we had the last time. We saved, and it should be my turn. Five, three, one. Let's see. So it is Dev's turn. That's me. All right. So there we have it. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. And All right. OK, 
okay, I won that time. Well, there, there it is, the uh, NIM game, and uh, with the save and load feature, and the feature that uh, guards against users putting in uh, bad information. Um, if it wants an integer, you, ought, you have to put an integer in uh, within the bounds of the uh, appropriate integer. Uh, 